New Zealand got drawn into the Syrian crisis on something of a tangent last week. Foreign Affairs Minister Murray McCulley was up in arms after Oxfam claimed New Zealand had contributed just $120,000 to the problem. That left the country at the bottom of a list of nations the organisation looked at. And here to give his views on the subject is Professor of International Relations, Robert Patman. Good evening. Good evening, Rebecca. Tell us a bit about Oxfam and what that organisation does. Well, Oxfam is an internationally respected aid and development organisation. It has a mission to try to reverse poverty and, and also to boost development. And that's part of its sort of international mission. And uh, yes, it's made some quite strong, last week it made some quite strong claims about New Zealand's aid contribution uh, to Syria, well, rather to the refugees which have been created by the Syrian civil war. Something like two million people have been displaced by the Syrian civil war, and that's just people leaving the country, of course, has been a lot displaced internally as well. Now, they've obviously done a study. What did they uh, attempt to discover? Well, I'm not sure it's a study as such. I think it's a bit of a stock take. It, if we go back to June of this year, uh, Oxfam and a number of aid, org aid organisations under the auspices of the UN organised... Uh, a massive fund, they, they made an appeal for a big fund, uh, over five billion, to deal with the humanitarian consequences of this horrific war in, in, in uh, Syria. And uh, I think they've started to do a bit of an assessment of the monies that have flowed in, and they've indicated with one, well, with about eight exceptions, that they're pretty dissatisfied with the general aid effort. And uh, unfortunately, New Zealand's been singled out somewhat mm. by Oxfam. Now, the results do kind of look bad for the country, but did we deserve the negative criticism? Well, first of all, uh, Mr McCulley, the Foreign Minister, and I think a number of other New Zealand officials dispute the fact that we apparently only have given 120,000, which would indeed place us at the bottom of the OECD countries. Uh, these are the rich developed countries, the top 20 in the world. Uh, but in fact, Mr McCulley, I think, says with some justification uh, aid hasn't been channelled exclusively through Oxfam. It's been given through other aid organisations. Mm -hmm. It's been also targeted through the World Food Programme, amongst other organisations. And so uh, Mr McCulley says we've given $5.6 in uh, donor aid to uh, Syrian refugees. And many of them are in countries like uh, Turkey, Lebanon uh, and other neighbouring countries. And uh, Mr McCulley, I think, made the point strongly. Now, Oxfam haven't disputed the counterclaim from Mr McCulley. Uh, but uh, I think that their, their attitude is that we should still, along with another of other developed countries, be giving more. Now, Mr McCulley has also described the outcome as wildly irresponsible and mm. an insult to all New Zealanders. Do you think that was a fair response? Uh, I think the criticism probably touched a little bit of a raw nerve in the government because I think the government and many people in this country, with some justification, see New Zealand as a good international citizen. And I don't think we like the idea of being taken to task over an issue in which I think many New Zealanders would, uh, would generously give. And uh, I think that, yeah, I think that's partly the response. And I think partly the response is irritation that Oxfam haven't done their homework sufficiently to realise that we've given a lot more than 120,000 more than 5 million. Yeah. And while that may not be enough, it's a lot more than the figure being cited by Oxfam. Where is the Syrian crisis at the moment? Uh, in the balance. Uh, we're about a week after a high-level diplomatic agreement between the United States and Russia uh, to remove all of uh, uh, Syria's chemical weapons, um, which is a remarkable achievement on the face of it, or could be, given that Syria up to two weeks ago denied it had any chemical weapons. Mm. Um, so we're in the process of implementing that agreement and at the moment it's slow going uh, but by the middle of 2014 both Russia and the United States have scheduled the complete eradication of the chemical weapons within Syria. So we, it's a question of watch this space I suppose. Mm. Do you think New Zealand is likely to be dragged into the crisis? Uh, I think New Zealand like many other countries is affected by the crisis. This is a very important part of the world. Uh, it has a big impact, not just in humanitarian terms, but in economic terms. If the, if the crisis gets worse, it has big implications for oil prices, and we, like many other countries, uh, do import oil from the Middle East. So we are affected. Uh, I don't think we'll get dragged in in terms of any military involvement at this point in time, but I think we're certainly involved humani in humanitarian terms mm -hmm. and also economically. Professor Robert Patman, thanks very much for your Thank time. Thank you.